boy, boy, boy. I tell you. You know what? I decided to just leave the stats on the screen. Okay? I just decided to leave the stats on the screen because I want y'all to see what an ass whooping looks like. Okay? Look, man. Look. Uh, let's just be real. I'm going to be completely real with y'all. Jennifer Maya was outclassed. Okay? Jennifer Maya had her points. Okay? She had her strong points in the fight. But Liz Carmouche, man, look, Liz was sitting, Liz was, Liz, Liz didn't even break a sweat, okay? Liz Carmouche ain't break a sweat. And I keep telling y'all, it's levels to this, okay? I keep telling y'all that it's levels to this, okay? I got a lot of respect for Jennifer Maya. You know, her being the Invicta champion, you know, she's beating, you know, she's beating some top competition. She even got a win over Jessica Andrade. But you know, man, when I tell y'all that it's levels to this, okay? You fighting a bigger, stronger veteran, Liz Carmouche. You know, for most of her UFC career, you know, Liz been fighting at Bantamweight. So, you know, Liz, you know, has kind of had the advantage of being like a big flyweight. Liz is huge, man. I mean, y'all see, y'all look at Liz Carmouche's arms, I mean. Liz Carmouche is a big flyweight. And I knew that Jennifer Maya, I knew that she wasn't going to be able to outmuscle Jen, uh, Liz Carmouche. She tried. Jennifer Maya tried. At least she didn't, you know, give up like somebody did on Friday night. You know, but Jennifer Maya tried, man. I thought Jennifer Maya had better hands than Liz Carmouche. But Liz Carmouche did a good job, man. Liz was moving ahead, you know, which I really, I wasn't used to really accustomed to seeing Liz Carmouche move ahead that much. But Liz was doing a good job of moving ahead. Uh, and you can tell that, uh, you know, that Jennifer Maya was much more fluid and faster. Jennifer Maya had the speed advantage, okay? Jennifer just didn't know how to use it to an advantage. Liz Carmouche stood in place, waited on Jennifer Maya to commit to her offense, and then Liz Carmouche would come over top and counter. And Liz Carmouche, man, kept switching from orthodox to southpaw. And that was messing Jennifer Maya head up. So Liz would switch to uh, southpaw, and then she start countering with the left hand. And I'm like, yeah, man, Liz Carmouche is doing it, man. She's doing the darn thing, you know. I, I didn't think Jennifer Maya could defeat Liz Carmouche. And, and you know, Ozmakers, they had this fight awfully close. And I'm like, what do these guys know about fights, man? They can't know a lot about fighting. Liz Carmouche done seen so much more. And even though Jennifer Maya has had more fights than Liz Carmouche, it's quality over quantity, y'all. It's quality. Like in round one, Liz Carmouche completely physically outmuscled Jennifer Maya. I'm talking about physically outmuscled her. Jennifer Maya had her moments, but Liz Carmouche, as soon as the fight started, Liz started throwing these looping right hands. And I'm sitting here thinking, okay, Jennifer Maya going to avoid these. No, Liz Carmouche was connecting with these looping hooks. And I'm like, yo, man, what is wrong? Like Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Maya got the better striking. I'm like, nah, man. Then in round two, I kind of gave that round. It was, that, that round was a toss-up round. I went ahead and gave it to Jennifer Maya. I thought Jennifer Maya landed the more clean, effective strikes in round two. I thought Jennifer Maya did more. I thought she was working a little bit more. But at the end of round two, Liz Carmouche had a beautiful takedown. A beautiful takedown. And then she started raining elbows and fists and whooping Jennifer Maya's ass on that ground. I'm telling y'all, Liz Carmouche stayed calm. When it looked like Jennifer Maya was about to do her thing, Liz Carmouche kept her composure, man. I like that. That's a veteran. That's a veteran who done been in there. She done beat some of the best. Liz Carmouche done gave ass whoopings. Liz Carmouche done took some ass whoopings. But now you see all the giving and taking of ass whoopings right now has played off in this fight. And she came and gave an ass whooping to Jennifer Maya, okay? Round three, Liz Carmouche kind of was trying to play it safe. Liz Carmouche turned it into the counter punch. I'm like, God, dog. I said I'd be a wet frog on a lily pad on a hot summer day taking a piss in the water. Liz Carmouche was counter punching, man. And, you know, Liz kept on a kick up. Uh, she kept throwing her foot up in Jennifer Maya's stomach, man. Just kept push kicking her to death. And I said, yo, what is Liz going to do? And sure enough, man, Jennifer Maya had a wardrobe malfunction, man. You know, her, her, her shirt, her top came down. It came down, and, you know, part of her, you know, part of her titty was exposed. And, uh, I mean, you can see it. You can see it. And then, uh, you know, Liz Carmouche said, uh-uh, I ain't finna give you time to fix that. Liz Carmouche immediately went over there, and she took Jennifer Maya down. I'm talking about took her down when she was trying to fix her bra. Nah, man, Liz Carmouche wasn't having it. <laughs> Liz took her down. Liz said, I don't care nothing about no wardrobe mal malfunction. But guys, you can see. You can see the stats right here. You know who won this fight. It was easy work. This was easy work for Liz Carmouche. Uh, Liz didn't call anybody out, man. She didn't call anybody out. She didn't say, I want to fight somebody next. I think if Jennifer Mayu would have won, I think Jennifer would have called somebody out. But guys, 
I, I'm trying to think, man. None of the Invicta champions, none of the fresh Invicta champions have come in here and won. That, that ought to tell you, man, about the competition level. Going from Invicta to the UFC, it's a whole nother story. It's levels to this. You can have 20 wins in Invicta, but, you know, somebody with five wins in the UFC will come in there and, and put you up out of there. Liz Carmouche fought a very smart fight. She fought an aggressive fight. You know, hey, it was good to see Liz Carmouche get back in the win column because Liz, I was worried that Liz, you know, been, you know, she had, Liz been inactive, man. Liz Carmouche, have, has, she's been inactive. You know, she hadn't had a whole lot of fights in these, you know, last three, four years. She ain't had a lot of fights. But I tell you what, man, Liz Carmouche dominated this fight. You guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.